Lesson 5.2, product rule, level two. Only thing different about this one is that we're going to get some trig functions in there, just the basic sine and cosine. Remember that um, the derivative sine prime of x or the derivative of sine is cosine and the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Okay, so number one, we got f of x and we have this is one function here's our multiplication here so this is our f this is our g okay so what i would do first is take the derivative of this which would be 15x squared constant would go away and that would become minus one so it's this times derivative or times sorry cosine of x and then remember it's plus and then it's going to be taking the derivative of g, derivative of cosine is negative sine of x, and then times the normal f function, 5x cubed plus 5 minus x. And again, I would probably just leave it like that. You could pull the cosine in front, but that doesn't really make it any better. Something like that. All right, number two. We have four x to the negative second times sine of x. So that's our two pieces. This is my f, this is my g. Okay, so to take the derivative, I'm gonna first take the derivative of f, that would be negative eight x to the negative third times sine of x, so I really don't need parentheses, plus derivative of g, derivative of sine is cosine x, and then keep 4x to the negative second. And I would leave it just like that. Number three, so we have this radical times sine of x, this is my f, this is my g, I would probably rewrite it so that this is um, q root of 64, that is a perfect cube, that's 4, x to the 2 thirds power times sine of x. So to take the derivative, I'll bring the 2 thirds in front, 4 times 2 thirds would be 8 thirds, x subtract a 3 thirds, that would be a negative 1 third sine of x plus derivative of sine is cosine of x and then I'll have the 4x to the 2 thirds. So make sure there's some multiplication here or some parentheses or something separating those two and then that would get you your answer. And then number four we have x squared minus 2x squared cosine of x. Notice how both terms have an x squared. I would factor that out so this looks a little nicer. So if I factor out an x squared here, that leaves me with 1 minus 2 cosine of x. So this is really my first function. This is my second one. My multiplication is here. So to take the derivative, I would take the derivative of f. That would be a 2x times 1 minus 2 cosine of x plus derivative of this second part, the constant will go away. I'll keep the negative 2, but also the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So if I take negative 2 times negative sine, that becomes 2 sine of x and then times x squared. So again, if you want to fix this, you could put the x squared in front to have 2x squared sine of x. You don't need the dot there, but this I would just leave. Oop, I forgot my x. And that would be it.